start by doing is I'm going to show you just the first section of a video that introduces the ecological footprint. And as you're watching it, I want you to try to be thinking about how we can actually define this term, the ecological footprint. Because when we've seen this little excerpt, I'm going to ask you to open up your glossary on your iPad and put down uh, a definition for the term ecological footprint. I'm with the August Entry students today. The students have been working on uh, developing their glossary, which they do uh, each lesson. So they keep a list of terms on their iPad uh, for uh, subject specific terms that they add to each lesson. We've also today been um, you're looking at the concept of the ecological footprint. So students have logged on to a website where they can uh, use a calculator to calculate their, their personal ecological footprint and research ways of uh, reducing their ecological footprint. And then we're actually going to be, the next step is that we're going to log on to the Trinity portal and look at actually what Trinity is doing in terms of reducing its ecological footprint. And they'll get some uh, ideas about uh, reducing ecological footprint for maybe businesses or educational institutions like Trinity. Um, so the iPad has been an excellent way of um, students doing their own research whilst we're in class and working collaboratively together, um, building up their glossary, um, and it's also a very sustainable way because we're not using paper. It certainly reduces the amount of paper that I have to give to them and what they give in to me. So, They've done a couple of tasks so far and uh, for assessment they've emailed those to me, uh, I've marked them and emailed their results back to them.